Back in the 12th century, the faceless warrior known as Nobushi roamed the land with his large stick in hand, defeating all that opposed him. With a mysterious past and a more violent future ahead of him, can he defeat his foes? That, that was supposed to be a yes question, Naboshi. Come on. Hey everyone, how's it going? My name's NBR and welcome back to some more For Honor. Now this is a closed beta. Uh, thankfully I was able to actually get inside of the game. I thought I had the access before, but I guess I didn't. And then Rayfell, thank you so much for inviting me. God bless you. So now I can actually play the game and try out the, I wanted to try out the new heroes because I've played this before and I've tried out the Conqueror. I've tried out uh, all, the, all the other characters. So my favorite actually in the last time I played this was Orochi the agile counterattacker assassin, who's, he's a super hard character. Some would say he's the hardest character of 2016. But this time I wanted to try either Peacekeeper or Nabushi, but this guy looks just awesome. Uh, and he has sticks and also it looks like he has fruit on his belt, just carrying around a satchel of snacks. It looks like you can sprint forever. You can call in an arrow strike and uh, rapidly bring myself to full health. And then just to check out the Peacekeeper who I also just unlocked, uh, I wanted to see what she had, he or she had, I don't know. I can't tell obviously through the mask and the, the features. Maybe it's a girl. Looks like, looks like there's some nice breastage there. I don't know, but also has a satchel of snacks. So that's always a must for any character in this game. Gain health and stamina when you kill another hero. That's actually really good. Uh, flash grenade that blinds enemies, crossbow at medium range, and enemies around you have lower stamina, regeneration, and defense. Okay, so it's all right. It's all right. I'm gonna go with stick guy though. All right, and I'm going to uh, actually do some 1v1 duelings. I feel like that's gonna be the fairest setup for stick guy and me uh, versing another player of equal skill level, I think. But judging by how I just did against the bots in this game, it's not gonna be good. I'm probably gonna die here. And uh, just to let you guys know, I'm not the best at this game. I I haven't played it that much, but I still enjoy it a lot. So hopefully you guys will enjoy this as well. And hopefully it won't be too embarrassing for me. All right, Junk Brow, that is your real name. I'm gonna take you out with Stick Guy. And if that doesn't work, then I'll just switch to Sword Guy or Club Guy. Uh, that's right, all of their names end with Guy. They're part of the same family. So I know very little about this character because it's brand new, um, but I think that she's all about like poking people like that and maybe a little bit more like this. Maybe a little bit, are you just gonna stand there like that? I call this one Crouching Tiger, come at me, bro. Ow, come on, God, kick him, kick him, kick him. Why didn't I kick him? It wouldn't let me guard break him, that was weird. All right, well, that's one for you, John Brow. Round two isn't gonna look so good for you, John Brow, Junk Brow, whatever your, I already forgot his actual name. There we go, just a little poke. Just right in the mouth. You like that? Is that nice? Okay, and you want another poke? I'll give it to you, dude. Give you more pokes. <laughs> just more pokes. You can't defeat the pokes. Maybe if I give you a little another poke. What's up with this poke ability? It's overpowered. I'm just like, ah. Ah, he doesn't really know how to dodge left and right or something. I don't know what's going on with that, but you, you would think that a huge stick with a blade coming at him, he would know what to do eventually. I know you love the poke, dude. Don't don't try to don't try to trick me that you don't love the poke. Everybody loves the poke. <laughs> He's just like running with his sword all tired like. He's just like running around, doesn't know what to do against the poke. The poke is too strong for you. Too much of the poke is oh, uh-oh, this isn't good. That's not Doesn't count. Doesn't doesn't count. I was uh messing with him. Doesn't count. Got another poke and another poke. One more poke and another poke. <laughs> this is stupid. You're not gonna live through that, I don't think. Yep, it's over. Comes down to this. Final round. Is the poke mightier than the sword? Oh god. You wanna just kick fight? Is that what you want, dude? I'll do it with ya. I will. Get a poke. And another poke. You wanna come at me with that? I'll, I'll just keep poking you all day, every day. You look good enough for a poke, dude. I'm just saying. Crouching tiger, hidden, oh, stop it. I think he just had a seizure and died, guys. That was weird. See if he wants to rematch against me. I don't know if he will though. That was that was kind of probably a really annoying to go against. That's one thing about this Naboshi character is, is uh, he or she, yep, he left the session. All right, so this character, it's definitely about like running away and striking when you are, you know, at a distance and they're least expecting it. So 
That's a that's a pretty cool strategy, I guess. I'll do one more and then uh, I'll switch over to that other new character, the Ezio looking thing. All right, it's against another samurai. It's Samurai Papa. What happens if I just hidden stance it up right here? Does he not want to go against me? This is very threatening, I know. Well, there goes my face and my gut. Well, there I go. <laughs> oh, so she's uh, he's Ezio right now. Also, he's a level 11, I just realized. I don't know why it paired me up against that. That was the quickest match I've ever done. There we go, got the kicks going and a little stabby stab with another stab, follow up stab. There we go, nice little pokes. That's all she needs, she's just gonna die. I'm just gonna wait it out. Just gonna walk away. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. I laugh now, but I'm probably going to lose. Just saying, probably gonna lose. Come on, I got this. I just need to poke her some more. A little more poke. A little more of the poke. Now I just run away. Let her die. Just let her die. Just run away. That's all we gotta do. Oh no. No, no, no. There we go. <laughs> I love that. You just poison them and they bleed out. That's awesome. Well, I guess it's not poison out if they're just bleeding out. You're just, you're stabbing them. Therefore they're bleeding. You know what I mean. There we go, there we go, I won! I didn't realize I was gonna, oh wow. I, I can't believe I just did that. This character feels really cheap to use right now though. Like I can just keep on poking and uh, the bleed actually does a lot. It takes a while to actually affect them, but the fact that you can poke them, run away and just do a lot of damage seems kind of cool. I defeated a level 11. I, I don't give myself enough credit. I might be the best stick guy in existence in, in my world. All right, now I'm gonna try the Peacekeeper, also known as Ezio del Toro El Gato uh, the Fifth. And supposedly this character can like counterattack and stab and do a whole lot of stuff. Uh, I have not used this character yet. This is my first time using this character. So I'm not entirely sure if I'm gonna do well or not, but knowing me, how well I do with Stick Guy, come on, I'm gonna do at least okay. That's, that, but you can't, that, please don't do this. Can I just live for a second, please? This was the worst ever. Let's try out the um, 4v4 domination mode right now because I feel like that character I just was, uh, her abilities are more so towards killing heroes and then keep on fighting because I gain health whenever I kill a hero, absorbing their life essence with my knife. I, every time I stab a person, I get a year back of my life. This has literally been loading for like, okay, there we go. It was like five minutes or more. That was crazy. <laughs> Let's charge everybody, straight into danger. That guy's dead, that was your own teammate, I bet. You don't even get to play. After five minutes of waiting, you know what I enjoy about this place is how nicely everyone works together and how you know kind everyone is. It's, it might be wartime, but we're gentlemen, okay? That was a bad time to configure and resync. Nice, we did it. Teamwork makes the dream work, you guys. Let's make sure that we confirm the kills with these people. My teammate just hit me after I just just said he did good. Come back here, I'm gonna hurt you. I'm gonna block you. I'm gonna block you some more. Block you some more. Oh. Did I just cast a black magic spell on him? Teleported him to another dimension maybe? What did I do? What does this do? I might, I lost 100 points for doing it, I'm sorry. Now I just stab all these meat sacks. Take the spot over again. There's too many meat sacks. Abort, abort mission, abort mission meat sacks. I don't want to die here, not like this. This is not a good spot to die in. And the solo cap, nailed it. Uh, I think that, yeah, I'm just gonna sneak down there, go behind enemy lines and take over their uh, their spawn in the back there, the point A or whatever. I got this, I'm a stealth master. Do, 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 do. Is this really gonna work? Seriously? I was expecting it to die. <laughs> That's awesome though, whatever. Okay, this is not good. This is the opposite of great. This is not, I'm gonna leave now. Bye-bye, see y'all later. Can't catch me on the gingerbread man or something along those lines. Little did they know that I'm just, oh God, he's, he knew I was coming. Stab you in the gut or not. Sometimes the controls are really weird. Like I just, I tried to jump backwards and it was just like, what, swing my sword? Okay, 
Oh, now, now it's my time to strike. Boom! And a 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 boom! My team is breaking. Stand and fight. Attack! I nailed it. Can I res you? Here we go, buddy. Me and you. We got this. Block and counterattack. It's over, dude. Oh, maybe not. There we go. Now it is. There we go. We might actually get this. It wasn't looking good, but now we might actually get this. I got you, dude. Don't worry. I got that res. Play the game right here, guys. Oh, you're not getting away from me. You come back here. You? And eh, maybe not. You're, you're, you got away. You did it. And poison attack. There we go. Nailed it. Two more to win. That's all we gotta do. Just kill two more to- Oh, she's behind us. I'm coming for you, girl. Oh, look at this. Looks like we got a nice little brawl going now. And she's running away. This is an intense match. We've been at like sudden death for a long time now. Time to flashbang. Nailed it. Execute or not. We won. Cool. We did it. Run away, everyone. Run, everybody. Ha ha, frolic. All right, guys, and that's going to do it for me for this episode of For Honor. If you guys want me to play again, leave a like in the comments down below. Let me know which heroes you want to see in the next episode, if there will be one. I don't know exactly. Uh, I promise I will try to practice a little bit more with the heroes before next time. Um, I actually really enjoy this game. It reminds me a lot of like Dark Souls PvP or something like that. So I enjoyed it a lot. I think it's a very, very good game. I'm really excited for when it's coming out in February 14th. So it's a nice Valentine's gift if you want to buy it for your significant other, especially if it's a girlfriend um, that does not play video games, here is your perfect gift of 2017 Valentine's Day, February 14th. Don't forget. If you guys haven't already, be sure to subscribe for more videos like this and more in the future. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one or whatever else I play. Just come on back. But until then, guys, remember to keep having fun. Bye-bye.